Hello everyone, welcome back to one more video on the Codility exercises. Today we're going to solve a question from lesson number six, the maximum product of three elements of an array. So we are given an array of numbers and we have to find the maximal product of any triplet or any three elements. In this example, these are the three elements that would give us the maximum product value. Now, as the first idea, we might think that we can look for the three maximal values of the array. And naturally, the product will be the highest we can achieve. However, it doesn't work in our case because we have negative values. So, For example, here, if we take these three elements, one, two, and six, their product is 12. These are the three maximum values of the array, if you noticed. However, their product is not really the maximum product that can be achieved using the elements of the uh, the same array. Actually, the uh, real maximum product is achieved using different elements. We can take minus three and minus five. The product of these two is positive, it's 15. And then if we multiply this by six, we get 90 as a result, which is the real maximum value of a product of these elements. So we can see that multiplying the three maximum values of the same array will not give us a good result in this case. In other words, we have to take into account negative and positive values if we want to achieve the maximum product. So the first thing we can do is sorting the array in increasing order. Particularly in this example, we don't have to do it. We only need the three maximum numbers and the two minimal numbers of the array. In case we have negative values, but sorting the array will make it easier for us to access these elements that are at the beginning and at the end. So in other words, we are interested in these five elements, the lowest two elements and the three maximal elements. We only need to consider two negative elements because looking for a product of three numbers, we are looking for a positive product. So this is why we cannot include three negative elements. Once we have identified these five elements, we can use a brute approach to test all the possible combinations to achieve the maximum product of three different integers. However, it's not the best way. There is something that would make our code shorter to write. In fact, the maximum product is obtained in one of these two cases, either by multiplying the three maximal elements of the array or by taking the maximum element and multiplying it with the two negative minimal elements. Why? Because when we multiply two negative elements, we have a positive product. And if this product is higher than the product of these two elements here, then we get a maximum product value. So it will all depend on the signs of these two minimal elements and their product value and the product of these two elements. So let's call these two products P1 or P2. And let's say that our function should return the maximum value of these two products. So finally, our algorithm would look like this. First, we sort the array A, then we calculate two products, P1 and P2. Then we can return the maximum value between P1 and P2. Now let's see how to write these in C++ and in Python. In C++, we can follow exactly the described algorithm. We start by sorting A, then we declare a variable N, which is the size of A, then our two products, P1 and P2, as described in the algorithm section, and we simply return the maximum between these two, between P1 and P2. Now, if you don't like this short method, another way we can do this is firstly by sorting A in increasing order. Then we're going to keep the five key elements of the array, the first two elements and the last three elements of the sorted array in a different array that we are calling T here. So I'm pushing back A0, A1, A n minus 1, N minus 2 and N minus 3 into the vector T. Then we are going to use a brute approach using three, four loops that are nested to check which combination of three elements will provide us the maximum value of the product. So it's easier to understand than the previous one, the previous method. However, this method makes our code looks a bit longer and probably takes a bit more time to debug if you are having any errors at this stage. So in any case, we are testing all the combinations of the different uh, three elements products chosen among the uh, five key elements that we've stored in a t vector in order to check which is the maximum product that we can achieve 
Then we're gonna return this product once this is done. In Python, the solution is also very simple. We start by sorting A using the sort function. Then we're going to store the length of A in the uh, variable N, and we're going to calculate our two products, P1 and P2, uh, which are equal to A and minus one times the two, the first two elements of the sorted list A. Then the second product is the product of the three last elements, the highest three elements of the list A. And we're going to return the maximum product among P1 and P2. That would be our uh, solution. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this exercise. Keep practicing and see you next time. Don't forget to drop a comment if you have anything to share with us. And thank you again for staying that long.